had the honor of growing up here at Gower Springs. I found Gower Springs after I moved up here and instantly knew this is where God wanted me. Ended up being the place that I met my wife. It's the place where we've raised our two daughters and uh, our oldest daughter just got married here at Geyer Springs. We got married in 1997. Uh, the Sunday after we got back from our honeymoon, our Sunday school teachers asked us if we would direct our Sunday school department. Probably the biggest blessing we've had is with our Sunday school class. They have become our biggest cheerleaders, but also um, our biggest prayer warriors. They're the people who we do life with. We walk with them, we grow with them, and um, it's just been the biggest blessing. So almost 26 years later, we're still directors of a Sunday school class, and it's just our way of connecting with people and helping them make a big church small. I think we both grew up learning about generosity in the home, but for me, it didn't become personal until I was in college. I was asked to give a testimony about stewardship in our Sunday school class here at Guy Springs, and I had a job at the time, but I wasn't giving anything. And I had to confess to the class that what I knew and what I practiced were two different things. So I made a commitment to God at that point that this was going to be a practice in my life. This was going to be one way I was going to express my worship to Him. And so over the nearly 26 years of marriage, what we've learned is God is faithful. I think for me, giving is just obedience. He's blessed us, and so it's our place to give back to Him. One of the things that we wanted to do is when we had children that I would be able to stay at home. and on paper, it really didn't look like that could work, that we could live with one income and still continue to give. And we get, I did that for 14 years, and God always provided. We always trusted, and He was always faithful. And I think what it's also done, as we look at today and the days to come, we're not looking at it from the perspective of what's the least we can do. Sometimes that's what the tithe is. It puts a cap on what you could give. Tithing to me, it's not about what is the measuring stick that would tell me when to stop. It would be, what else can I do? And so as we look toward the future, we're asking ourselves, where are we right now? But then we're asking ourselves, what would God want us to do? What would it take to move us from where we are to where God wants? And that might take sacrifice. We've come up with numbers of what we could give, and God's challenged us and tapped us on the shoulder and said, I don't think you're thinking like I'm thinking. But like I said, we've learned that God is faithful, and it's made it very easy to trust Him next steps for me means just trusting God, just to trust in Him and know that He will be faithful. When I hear next steps, I think, what will I need to do to be obedient to the Lord? Whether it's in giving or serving inside these walls or outside these walls, what will God uh, ask me to do and how will I respond to Him personally? When I think back, to, especially to my childhood, I think of all these people who they sacrificed so much to build this church and to, to invest in the community, to invest in the young families. They have helped my family, and now we're able to, to have a legacy with younger couples and with um, children and preschoolers. And whatever we give, we know that God's gonna take care of and he's gonna be able to just use it for his glory. Reaching future generations, that's what's exciting to me because when I came, I was invested in. And so it's exciting to me to be able to invest in others as they come up. I'm excited about what the future holds, to know that we can have a small part in what God's doing.